Hey guys, welcome to the final episode. In this one, we get the boat back in the water, but it doesn't finish there. We've still got a lot of checks to do before we uh, can take her up to speed. And I'm looking forward to getting her out fishing. Day three today, we've got to remove the bearings from the skegs now, get the new ones in so we can put all the shafts and propellers and rudders back on ready for any foul. And all we've got to do today also is uh, finally, we've done a dry mount, a test mount of the transducer and the skin fittings. We've just got to mount them in now. And uh, yeah, that's most of our jobs done while it's out of the water. So uh, we should have it back in the water on Monday. Uh, so we're installing the live view transducer. Um, so it requires a 30 mil hole drilled through the bottom of the boat and a couple of locating studs. So we're just putting a big hole through now and hopefully get it in the right place. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a measure twice, three times, four times, five times. And then, uh, yeah, you only get one go at this. That battery. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, we got halfway through the hole and we got a flat battery. <laughs> Bloody Roy Avey. All right, so you got another drill. <laughs> what, are you, what what drill brand do you got at the moment? Uh, I've got a Milwaukee, mate, so we should. It's only got half battery, but we should be able to get through. Oh, now we have a hole straight through the bottom. Sorry, Ryan. I forgot it in the right spot. So we got the transducer fairing block here. So this just goes on and we cut it to suit the shape of the hull. So basically it's gonna go up there and we're just gonna trim it to suit. The hull here lines up with the hole we just drilled through the bottom of the boat and just so we can get everything in the right position. And this just matches the transducer up to the bottom of the boat. So we're mounting the transducer now. We've um, just added all the uh, the goop we needed, and Sam's up there tightening up the top bolts, get it up nice and firm. Uh, we've, we put all the uh, Sikaplex between the transducer and the fairing block, and a big heap on top of the fairing block to go up onto the hull. So once that pulls up tight, it'll just spread it everywhere and squirt it out the sides. Uh, we're just tightening up the transducer. Now I'm putting the nut on. Um, yeah, just getting all the sicker to, to squeeze out. How's that, Ryan? Sorry, sorry, How, how's that looking now? Yeah, looks good, buddy. Uh, yeah, we've got the transducer in. I've just got to clean up a bit of that um, sicker that's oozed out. Make a nice little bead out of it. And uh, hopefully she'll show us any dangers in front of us from here on in. Uh, here we've got 10 tonne quarter power. Hopefully this will uh, pop the coupling off. Fingers crossed. No, the porter power won't fit in here. We're going to need a different puller, unfortunately. So, just missing out by a little bit. Um, and try and take this flexible coupling off and um, see if we can get it to fit with that. So, more work. Trying to get the right size Allen keys uh, on a socket fitting that'll fit into a certain size area. Um, we've found a way around it, but yeah, it's all these little tiny things that just keep popping up. Bloody boats, I tell you. <laughs> oh, well, we finally got the coupling to pop. Um, I think the porter power was um, fairly maxed out, but um, yeah, she went off with an almighty bang, and that's the sound we want to hear. Not without a lot of sweat. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, so this is the um, part of the PSA shaft seal. Uh, this is the face where the the bushing runs on and creates a seal to stop the water coming in the boat. Um, probably need to get that checked out. It's not quite as smooth and clean as I'd like to see. But we'll get the engineer to have a look and give his thoughts on it. Yeah, a little bit of an ordeal, eh? Yeah, it was um, pretty hard. 
taking the shafts out of the boat, it's pretty full on. Uh, never really goes easy, but anyway, we've got the port side one out, and now we'll get stuck in the starboard side one. We need to replace the, the cutlass bearings. Uh, it's day five. We've got a few things done over the weekend, like we got all uh, the shafts put back in, all the couplings bolted back up tight. Uh, we got the rudders back in again and repacked all the glands, the rudder glands as well, while they were out. And uh, so yeah, on today we're just going to do a few other little things like replace all the anchor chain. Uh, the, the three days didn't come quite to fruition. Um, like I said, when we pulled it out, we had we found the cutlass bearings needed replacing, uh, or they're pretty much due anyway. So yeah, it ended up blowing out just a little bit, but. I'm pretty happy with uh, what we got achieved anyway. This morning we've just got 70 metres of 3.8 short link um, to go through the winch, some new chain. Uh, we've marked it as we sh uh, every 10 metres, um, different colours, and of course we've marked um, the last three metres in multi-colours with the cable ties. It's okay to put the cable ties on there, as long as they're a bit loose, they pass through the winch okay, without busting off and polluting the ocean. So that's what we've done this morning. We've got everything back together, we've only got a couple of shelves to put on and uh, a couple of hoses upstairs. We're going to check all the seacocks that we've done, we're going to check every single hose clamp on the boat, that's one of the most important things. Some people skimp on really cheap hose clamps as we found out with some of our seacocks. Um, but that's all been rectified now and yeah we're just going to replace a few hoses while we're at it and just make sure the boat's nice and secure, nothing's going to leak. And then when we get it back in the water, uh, around one o'clock today, we're going to be letting it sit in the water for a while. We're going to check the rudder glands uh, that we replaced. We're going to check all the glands throughout the boat along the shafts. It's been a lot of hard work. Uh, both Sam and I got the flu on the last two days. So working with the flu is no fun. Um, I'm just be excited to get it back in the water because we've got some pretty um, awesome things happening this year. Uh, got a few new techniques we want to try out on the small black male and just out the front of home here in Cairns. Uh, so I'll be looking forward to getting into a lot of that kind of thing this year. Oh my god, she looks beautiful. They have done such an amazing job. It was supposed to be a three day job as usual. They find heaps of other stuff wrong once you pull her out of the water. But um, here she is back and ready to go on some amazing trips. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, if you'd like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and Insta, and if you only want some special tips we send out by email only, head on over to ryanmoodyfishing.com and sign up for free email updates. Get into the great outdoors, keep fishing smarter, we'll see you next time.